kind of serving with this little braid situation. <laughs> this is, guys, this is probably the most professional setup you've ever seen on youtube.com. I'm telling you, you've never seen anything as amazing as this. What is up, Crackhead Nation? It is your girl, Princess Galaxy, and today I'm going to be talking about my true honest feelings and what I'm doing to emotionally cope with the world opening back up once again. So in light of the recent CDC things and things I've been talking about, about how like fully vaccinated people can like go outside and like not wear a mask. And technically like you basically don't really have to wear a mask almost anywhere anymore. Okay. That's not true, but like, you know what I mean? Like the links in the description for like all the technical things but basically a lot of people are worried because people are like well what if people aren't vaccinated and blah blah, blah and all this stuff and a lot of things have been like coming out i'm not a scientist i'm just gonna say that right now but i'm also a person who is fully vaccinated who is considering going back to many concerts this year as things open up um riot fest in chicago spring awakening many other festivals are planning to you know come back this year and like lady gaga is still having her chromatica ball and things like that i'm a chicago girl can you tell because <laughs> i'm talking about mainly chicago stuff but basically i just wanted to talk to you guys about it say like my thoughts and things that i'm doing to like mentally prepare for all of this stuff because literally all of us have been inside for like almost what maybe like a year and a few months now and like literally for a whole year we've been told to like not be around people like don't be around people. Um, they could infect you. They can, you know, like kind of having this like low key fear of like human interaction. And now all of a sudden it's like everything's opening up. So I kind of just wanted to talk about that. So, uh, <laughs> excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> the professionalism I have is on 10, I'm telling you. And I just put some things that I'm gonna be doing to you know help myself mentally prepare for like being in a bunch of crowds and just being more active like IRL so if you guys want to take this advice definitely follow along with me and yeah let's get started so first I want to talk about the fact that a lot of people are feeling the same way it's really normal actually that people are a little more worried about you know, after all this time, like CDC changing everything and finally like, we can go to concerts, like it's acceptable now. Like a lot of people are still worried about it. And apparently like a 40 to 50%, I think it's like 45 or 49% of Americans in this study that they were doing, basically said that they were like still afraid of like going in crowds. And that's literally like half of America. So I totally get it. Well, the second thing that I'm planning on doing is doing like a gra gradual change. And that kind of means like, you know, not really starting out, like I said, at like 10, like going to concerts, like right off the bat, but like now, like, you know, going outside, going for a walk, talking to people outside, like without my mask on, you know, like getting to the point where I can feel more comfortable being in a crowd of people. And it's not just gonna give me like constant anxiety. Because like, if I'm being honest, I think a lot of people, like are not like me i'm very not afraid of getting COVID. i'm not afraid of getting sick i'm not afraid of you know getting anyone else sick because i've taken the precautions i'm just not i'm just not a worry person i'm not an anxious person i know a lot of people in my life who are like anxious you know and it's like i'm just not like that for most things and i haven't been like that with COVID because i've done everything i've needed to do so Um, girl, what page was I on? Anyway, so like I said, I think gradual change is probably one of the most important things because it's like your mentality, like going back into like the real world is really important. And if you're just like, you go from nothing to a hundred, like I said, it's gonna like basically brain fuck you. The next thing that I'm planning on doing is, it's probably really basic and you're gonna be like major eye roll, but it's really important, but it's, to exercise so when i say exercise i don't mean you know like doing it in like a toxic way like oh get that quarantine 15 off or like oh blah blah, blah. i mean like literally like 
<laughs> when you start going outside and you start like going to like events and like if you if you're like me and you like going to concerts like i've been to like 30 concerts and like literally i've never had prepared this much to go back to concert life than now because the thing with now is that like i haven't really done a lot of things this year like the main most i've done is like maybe like go to a grocery store maybe like take a walk like every few months with cameron out in nature or something like that but i'm not really like i haven't been that active like most of us so i really think i really recommend that like you guys start doing like exercises not to lose weight but to get your body back feeling like okay like i'm moving around and it doesn't have to be like extreme like a crossfit or like hit or like cardio or anything like that you can start off with just like walking like taking a walk like taking like a like maybe like 20 30 minute walk a day and then like increase it to like an hour or just whatever is comfortable for you like this whole thing like the reason why i'm saying especially like to exercise is because when i went to disney world for my birthday it was like march so it was about two months ago yeah two months ago <laughs> and even though disney world was awesome by the end of the day literally it was like 10 we took like ten thousand steps like in disney world we literally took ten thousand steps and it was literally so painful we were getting on the bus like heading to disney springs and like my feet were killing me my thighs this never happened to me before but i think it's because i've gained like 30 pounds or like 20 or 30 pounds something like that but i've gained this weight and now like when i walk more my legs start like chafing and i'm like oh my god this is so painful <laughs> like what the fuck so guys if you've gained or lost weight or anything like that get your new body if it's not any different from before adjusted to moving around and doing like activities for hours at a time especially like outside and being active don't sleep on that also if you're not like really into like walking and like if you're like on your period or like if you're just not really like if you want to start with something like basic or simple you could start with like basic yoga i really recommend things this is what i've been doing i've been doing a lot of yoga that focuses on like my back like my lower back and my legs so that like during concert season i'm not like completely like dead in the legs and like the next morning you don't feel like a fucking zombie from all the you know uh overpriced wine that you drunk or anything like that that's me the overpriced wine give me a pinot grigio and i'm so good i sound like a white mom but i am a white mom on the inside so i think that's why yay <laughs> so the next piece of advice that i have it's pretty simple and basic like i said all these all this advice is pretty basic because it's just like the basic stuff is the most important like you don't want like intricate like uh things because like most of the time like if you're doing something basic if you're starting off with something basic it's like you're you're slowly like transitioning and like the transition is going to be a lot smoother than you trying to do like a bunch of complicated things so that's why i'm recommending basic stuff and that's what i'm going to do because i want to be gentle and honest with myself and i don't want to stress my body out too much next thing is um finances so during covid we really started to understand i think a lot of us our money situation better and the things that we can improve on and things that we were kind of lacking in and the things that we were doing okay but we needed some improvement with so i say finances because this is just something that's like really general but the thing that i that i'm planning on doing is starting to at least save about 10 to 20 percent of my monthly income actually since i do doordash like i get paid weekly but i can also like take money out of my account whenever i feel like it so i like to take 10 percent of you know whatever i earn maybe like that day or like whatever i'm gonna start doing that so that i can like save for these concerts so i'm just not like dropping like a shit ton of money which like i don't mind doing but you know like if you're including like hotel and like you know maybe if you want to go across country like airfare i just recommend budgeting out maybe looking at what's already out there and doing like a basic budget for yourself i think it'll really help you in the long run <laughs> finally i really recommend thinking of all of this positively because i know i hear every day when i watch the today show with cameron you know hoda and jenna they get on there they get on talking about savannah and al and all this and craig they start talking about 
your mind, getting better sleep, uh, thinking positively and all this stuff. And it sounds so like, okay, whatever, but it is so true. If you are constantly thinking about like, um, oh my God, I'm going to get sick. Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. You will be stuck in like an anxiety ridden state and you won't be able to do anything. And then you'll look back and you'll be like, oh my God, I could have at least like done something. I could have at least had some fun. So I understand like certain people are really uncomfortable with like everything that's going on. But if you're like me and if you're like completely like, if you're like just ready to go back out there, just do it, you know? Like, we're gonna have such a good time. Like, we've been waiting for this ever since lockdown, like, began. Like, this is what we've been wanting, to go back to concerts, go back to events, and we're doing it. So, I'm super excited. I hope you guys are super excited. If you guys have anything else that you guys wanna share with me in the comments, let me know. Do you agree? with the things that I'm saying? Do you disagree? Are there other things that like you're doing to mentally prepare for all this stuff to go back to normal? I mean, it's basically kind of almost normal, um, but it's still like so much is changing like literally every day. So let me know what you guys think and thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. I would love your follow. Thank you for getting me to 1,200 followers on there. Thank you for getting me to 100 followers on TikTok. You can follow me there as well. And if you like K-pop content that is centered around concerts and my life, then follow me, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing videos and I love coming out with stuff and my crackhead nation official playlist I have a lot of things to shout out my crackhead nation official playlist comes out every Tuesday so keep an eye for that and I'll also be updating it this might come out on Monday so I'm gonna say tomorrow but check it out it's in the description <laughs> all right everything's in the description I love you guys so much and have an amazing day and if you can't get vaccinated and if you can't that's okay too. I guess. I don't know what to say these days. Just ask Dr. Fauci. Okay, bye.